Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the government-wide financial statements that can be found in the annual comprehensive financial reports. And specifically, we're going to be covering the statement of net position. The statement of net position from a private business perspective, it's the equivalent of the balance sheet and the statement of activities from a business for profit business. It's the equivalent of the income statements. Now, both of these financial statements, they use the full accrual. Yes, government-wide financial statements use the full accrual. We are not discussing the fund financial statements. We will discuss the fund. We discussed the fund financial statement in a separate recording. Also, the fund financial statements are part of the annual comprehensive financial report, the ACFR. So, the fund financial statements are covered separately than the government-wide financial statements. Also, I'm going to be attaching this annual comprehensive financial report that I will be using in this lesson that covers the city of Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with the statement of net position. The fact that I'm using the word net position, this should tell you that we are using full accrual. Full accrual. Now, what's included in the statement of net position, aka that we know as the balance sheet? Well, we're going to have the primary government. Under the primary government, we're going to have governmental activities and business type activities. We're gonna have both of those. And we're gonna have the total, and we have a component units. In this session, please ignore the component unit here because I'm gonna have one session about the component units, how these are. For now, ignore the component units because I have not explained the component units. I will explain the component units in a separate recording. So focus on the governmental activities and the primary uh, the governmental activities and the business type activities. And let's take a look at their balance sheet. They have cash, they have investments, due, due from, which is a receivable, notes receivable, accounts receivable, lease receivable, interest dividend receivable, inventories. I'm just going over this. They have also land and other capital asset, net of depreciation. What does that mean? It means these companies, these companies, not these companies, these governmental unit, What does that mean? It means that we use the full accrual and that's why we have short term as long as long as well as long term assets. So the full accrual would include both short term assets as well as long term assets. And this is important. I want you to see that we have accumulated depreciation, net of depreciation. It means we have accumulated depreciation. Also, we have the third outflow of resources as part of the assets. Now, the internal service fund is included in the governmental activities, just FYI. We will do the consolidation later. I just want to let you know about this now. On the liability side, remember, I'm not going to include all the balance sheet on one page with it because all the numbers would be very small. We're going to move from the assets to the liabilities. Same concept. Of course, it's the same financial statement. I would like to remind you we're using the full, full accrual. Why am I reminding you? Why do I keep reminding you about this? Because under full accrual, you would use you would have both short-term as well as long-term liabilities. So I have notes payable, vouchers payable, accounts payable, these, you know, due to accounts. But also what I have is long-term liabilities. Why am I reporting long-term long liabilities? Because the government-wide financial statements use full accrual. Yes, I am repeating myself, but it's worth repeating this. Then we have also the, the deferred inflow of resources. Now, obviously, the difference between assets and the deferred outflow and liabilities and the deferred inflow will give us the net position. Net position means we are using full accrual, right? And we have three net position. We have three categories. We have net investments in capital asset, and we have a one whole session explaining what net position is. We have 
restricted for a particular program and notice the city of Philadelphia have few programs that are that they have net asset restricted and we have unrestricted and for the city of Philadelphia the unrestricted amount is deficit it means they are basically they don't have any unrestricted fund they are negative simply put in lame language broke when it comes to unrestricted net position we're going to move from the balance sheet or aka the, no the statement of net position aka balance sheet to the statement of activities aka income statement so this is the equivalent of an income statement now bear in mind it doesn't look like an income statement so the balance sheet look more like a balance sheet assets first we looked at assets first then we looked at liabilities then we looked at equity the income statement which is the statement of activities don't look like a typical income statement how is the how is the statement of activities presented under the government-wide financial statement we use what's called program approach statement we're going to start with expenses so notice here we have program revenues we have a column called expenses program revenues then we have governmental activities and business type activities now this is not a complete statement of activities that's why you don't see anything under business type because it's on the following page it's on the same statement i'll show you the statement at the end again the annual comprehensive financial report i attached it to your lesson on the website on farhat lecture so you can see it i'm just i, I want to break this by categories so if you notice the first thing that we show under the statement of activities the first column is expenses because the government that's what they do they spend money expenses therefore we need to show the expenses for the economic development that's why it's that's how the government work expenses then from the expenses they might have some revenues for example they have charges for services for this particular program and let's let's choose the streets and highway the expenses for the streets and highway because it's something you 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 might be kind of you know we all use the streets and the highway their expenses for the program is 166 million um, charges for services charges for services are like kind exchanges so they're getting money for some services 11 11 million 11.5 then they have operating a grant and contribution maybe from the federal government 57 and they have capital grants and contribution uh, bear in mind charges for services are customer like building permits if it's a building like fees on the highway whatever they charge or it could be taxes that they that they impose for the streets and the highway charges for some sort of a service some sort of a service fines and for, uh, forfeiture operating grant and contribution it's in support of the street and highway program those are mandatory and voluntary non-exchange transaction and we have the capital program is for capital project on these highways so notice we have expenses then we have three categories of revenues and obviously what do we do we have revenues expenses kind of expenses minus revenues and we have what's called net expense or net revenue and notice for this program specifically it's negative for the streets and highway it's negative so this is how we read it expenses are listed first then we have program revenue let me one more time let me highlight everything in yellow because it's worth going through it first we list the expenses then we have some sort of revenues for that program then we have charges we might charge customers we might be receiving grant for contribution capital grants and contribution uh, cap uh, contribution for operation and contribution for capital expenditure and those are the three then we net them out it could be net net revenue or net expense and notice here what i want you to notice is all the programs for the city of philadelphia you guessed it there are more expenses than revenues and that's why we list the expenses first because what what do government do government spends money yes they do raise money but they also spend money right so this is the governmental uh, governmental activities column I'm going to show you on the next slide the business activity so basically it's not the next slide it's on the same financial statement but think of it as a continuation now I'm looking at the functions and we're looking at the business type activities the city of Philadelphia they report two main type water and sewer and aviation and they do have other business type activities the third one but they are small ones so let me go back to the pen here so again they list the expenses first then charges for services operating grant and contribution capital grant and contribution then they have net revenue for the water and sewer so they are operating at a profit because they're running it like a business like activities same thing with the aviation you have expenses charges from customers capital grant then net then this is obviously the total 
Then what we do here is we add up all the expenses for everything, total primary government, total for everything. We have a total column, obviously. Then we have the component unit. Again, we'll talk about the component unit in a separate recording. Then what we have is the program revenues, program revenues, and under program revenues, we'll have Then at the, at the bottom of the statement of activities, we have what's called the general revenues. General revenues, for example, property taxes, that are general revenues that goes under governmental activities that don't belong to any particular program. Uh, that's what we have here, wages and earning taxes. You, when, when the city of Philadelphia collect, you know, if you work in the city, you, you pay taxes, uh, business taxes, other taxes. Those are general revenues. They're listed at the bottom. I'm going to show you the full statement on the next slide. Grants and contribution. Again, those don't belong to anything. If we have any special item, gain on sale of capital asset, transfers in, transfers out, so on and so forth. Again, what are the governmental type, the business type activities? Then we add up all the revenues for everything, for the governmental activities, all the revenues for the business type activities, then the total, then we have the component unit. Then we're gonna start with revenues Revenues, this is revenues minus expenditure will give us the change in net position. Then from the change in net position, we will add to it the, we'll add to the beginning net position, which is was negative. Then we had an adjustment of 24,000. We don't know what this is. We'll have to look in the notes if we want to. Then we have the net position adjusted after the adjustments. Then we'll take the change in net position, you know, which is which was positive. Governmental activities overall was positive. We had um, we had seven billion deficit. Now the deficit went down to five point eight billion. We'll do the same thing for business activities. The change in net position one hundred forty six thousand. We had a positive net position. We'll take the change plus the net position, and we'll get to the net position in business. Now let me show you this net position. Just want to show you the business as well as the governmental. So let, let look at these two numbers. Where can you find them? If you go back to the balance sheet, you should be able to see those to net position for the governmental for the governmental as well as net position for the governmental as well as for the business so I just want you to see that that number that net position because this is the business column this is the governmental column and obviously this is the net of the two so the net position that you computed on the statement of activity is reconciled to the balance sheet think of equity your retained earnings retained earnings eventually goes to the balance sheet and this is what we are saying here and this is the complete statement of activities but notice i did not show it to you all at once because the numbers are very small so what i did i broke it down into this category this section this section one two and three this is not separated i did it so i can show you what i need to highlight and uh, uh, point out to what should you do now you're gonna go to Farhat lectures look at MCQs that's gonna help you do what whether you are studying for your CPA exam or you are taking accounting accounting courses invest in yourself work additional problems good luck study hard and of course stay safe